Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to my madness. <laughs> We're going to be messing with some black sands today. This uh, this project that we've got going here is uh, a project from Montana. And we've got a lot of black sands that we're going to be pulling out. And these are the, the trays that we're actually going to use. So we start out first by taking the material out of the bucket. Of course, I'm in the dark spot now, but I'm sure it'll be all right. We take material out of the bucket and we put it through a 30 mesh classifier. So everything that is uh, 30 mesh and smaller... So a lot of that stuff we'll have to re-crush, but we're going to take everything that's 30 mesh smaller and we're going to run it. So that's what goes into our run bucket. Now, we're going to take two scoops of our material. Okay, so we're going to run that much at a time. Just kind of spread it out. The material spread out and now we're going to use the uh, the spin it off and I've got the large spin it off As you can see here it's got uh, David Yurick's got spin it off dot net so a shameless plug for David Yurick from spin it off Columbia River mining supplies all right let's get to work now started now let me show you when when the when the magnetics get pulled up by the magnet it's going to flip the dirt around so you watch what happens here. You get it started. Okay, you see how it just took off and started flipping? So you start away from the edge, work to the edge, and then come back. And then we dump it. Get it started before you get into the black sands. And then we're going to dump it. All right, let's go ahead and get this whole tray down here. It's really leaving a lot of material behind, isn't it? Isn't this fun? <laughs> now our goal with this stuff is actually to get clean black sand. What's going to end up in here is we're going to classify this all the way from 12, 50, 100, 200, and 400 minus. And that's going to make it to where we can get some of that really, really small gold out of there. Now we've got to get this spread out for round number two. We're going to end up doing this three times. Now take a look right down in here. You can see... See how that affects the uh, the whole mass of magnetics, the magnetite, and then look right in there. You see how all that stuff is it just kind of spinning like little whirlwinds, and that's the change of the positive negative polarity from the magnet spinning. Of course, if you're watching that, you're not getting any work done. <laughs> All right, let's get the rest of this done. You don't want to spin too fast. If you spin too fast, it's going to everything's going to go flying. So about 200, 300 RPMs is about max. Oh, 
Okay, now we're going to get down to the last tray. Now on the last tray, we've got a pretty good clean pull of all that magnetite. So then we're just going to take, we'll just dump it right into the bucket. This is actually a, a bucket that's actually got a uh, sandbag in it. And the sandbag has got a plastic liner because this material is so fine that it'll uh, it'll leak. Whoops, that's too fast. You see this the the difference in the zones in there. If you're having trouble with uh, any of your magnetite like turn into gills or whatever you can actually move your move your shaft in and out and make all that stuff open up and drop out your uh, non-magnetics take a look at what we've done we've got all this material here so that's quite a bit of just regular old sand of course there's gold locked up in there and then we've got this material here that's what was missed on the first run and this is the material that made it all the way to the absolute very last so not a whole bunch and I held the magnet a little bit off the table to leave some of this stuff behind if we look at this under a microscope what that'll show you is there's sands that actually have stuck pieces of magnetite still within the matrix of the rock and that's why it, it was able to be picked up um, if i picked it up with a magnet but i leave it behind since it's not much black sand in the rock leave it behind because like i said my goal is to have clean magnetite so that's my process and uh it's uh we you like my drying rack isn't that cool <laughs> you can see i've got got some material here that's just egging just begging to get uh get processed on the on the on the table here but uh i got uh got a little bit of work ahead of me so i'm gonna get back to work but i just wanted you guys to see the black sand magnetic removal technique don't have your sand too thick if it's too thick then it's going to clog up your your uh spin it off real fast and it won't get a, as good a pull and you'll end up having to pull it five or six times but if you get it nice and thin and spread spread out and don't let it build up on your your magnet too much it's going to make it to where three pulls and out you're done it's uh it's a real good uh, real good device so go and get you some dirt and go play with the magnetics <laughs>